My PC is literally crying for mercy, but I was enjoying myself. I was running around with a metric ton of gold in my hand and came across a village. I was going to steal everything, but then I got distracted by a nearby pillager tower. I dismantled one of them, but then ran away like a girl when the going got tough, which led me to paradise. Planted some trees to give back to the environment, but, ha but hang on, they're, pl they're plastic trees. Am I giving back or taking from? Oh wait, I don't care. <laughs> and in this position of vulnerability, the pillagers pounced. Hmm, which one shall I pick? The child, that was easy. Me and Maximus, we went around stealing everything, son. Or at least we would have, if there was anything to steal. And all I need now was some friends, or enemies. Whichever comes first, I just needed them. Charlie. Anyway, about a two minute walk through the woods from the house was a small village with cows and wheat, and so I... I, I stole all of it. <laughs> all I had to do now was make a big enough scene at the village until one of them agreed to come with me. And off we went. I came back to get another one. We've got two villagers in there. They can't get out. And we just need to keep feeding them until we have five. Where's the other one? There you are. Ha! <laughs> you thought you'd escape? That's hilarious. It wasn't hilarious when you did escape though. Man, I'm a good person. I'm like, I'm like Robin Hood. Oh wait, no. He steals from the rich to feed the poor. I steal from the poor to feed me and villagers when it's in my interest too. So yeah, I'm kind of... Kind of completely not like Robin Hood. Yeah, the village is going to be called the final destination because once you're in, you never leave. <laughs> Destruction had left them with no choice other than to come with me and a wise choice it was. But when we arrived, he just wanted to go straight back. So I guess I actually just kidnapped him and he never wanted to leave. Oh wait, no, he's running away. But it was too late. He showed a slight bit of interest and that's all I needed. But I saw no other option than to make a wall surrounding the property to keep them contained. So that's what I did. They still tried their best to escape. Ultimately, it was futile and they knew it. They in the trees were too, but still they weren't grateful for it. They still tried to escape every night. When will they learn? You can't live like this. You can't live like this. But he did want to live like this because he headed straight back as soon as he got out of the boat. But it wasn't a big deal. I mean, I mean, what's he going to do? Jump the wall? Don't think so. Wait, what? Anyway, I got him into a temporary breeding chamber. I'm, I'm going to steal some wheat. It's taken way too long to grow. I needed wheat to make bread to feed the villagers. And so me and Maximus set out on a pillaging spree. The first village we found had just what I was looking for. So we took it all and for some reason, put the villagers into boats. Can't really remember why I did this. Could have just been boredom. Either way, we took everything, said thanks, and hit up the next spot. We searched and searched and eventually found a village in the middle of the forest, but they didn't have what I needed. And so, yeah, I destroyed everything. I then found this guy in a, in a trough and I, I just thought it'd be funny to trap him in there. And I think you'll agree I was right, but I'm not mean. I'm not mean. I gave him a way out, you see. If he survives, mwah, ah, ah. Maximus and I made it back and fed all of those hungry mouths with plastic bread. And then I worked on fencing off the village since the villagers seem to be escaping despite the giant wall. We've got a villager family going on now. So I finished off fencing the area and went around checking that there's nowhere that they could escape from. And it looked pretty good. I just needed this tree to grow and then there's no way they can get out. But then I went into this house and he was camouflaging into the wall, probably hoping I didn't see him. Don't even know where most of them came from since I stopped feeding them once it was no longer in my interest to. But then I thought, nah, you know what? You don't just get to pick and choose your villagers. And so I destroyed everything. Yeah. Yeah, even their beds. You will be remembered. Briefly. And then I'll forget about it like most things. I ran out shouting, Mum says we gotta pack it up now and watch the glorious destruction unfold. I call it Kalani and Prisoners.